Hey guys, we're going to take a look at uh, inch measurements with inches and centimeters and that kind of stuff. Be surprised how many people don't know how to do this. And there's a there's a typical you know a uh, just a ruler and just one thing. You just logically you look at let's say there's an inch, and of course this would be half an inch, and this would be a quarter of an inch. So you see that what what they do on these uh, rulers is they mark it so where there's your half. It's a little bit longer. The quarter ones, they, they mark like this. You can see all the way across a quarter of an inch. Of course, half of a quarter of an inch is an eighth of an inch. You can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight parts of the inch. Obviously, half of that will be sixteenth. So each one of these individual ones is a sixteenth. Now, if you look at this and go, okay, well, let me count by sixteenths. One, two, three, four. Well, that'll be four sixteenths, right? But that's the same thing if you reduce the fraction as one fourth of an inch, which that, which is what we just said. You know, that's a fourth of an inch and so on. So in other words, if you have an, let's say somebody says to you, okay, let me, uh, you know, what is uh, this part right here? How well, I many inches is that long? Well, you're going to, that's two inches, obviously. Okay. So if you look at this, you can go, well, that's the sixteenth part. So you can count one, two, three, four, five. So two and five sixteenths. If you were to count something like this right next to it, well, obviously that would be one, two, three, four, five, six. That'd be six sixteenths. But if you look at this, it's a little bit longer. That tells you that you can count by eighths. In other words, there's one eighth, two eighths, and then three eighths. Now, if somebody says to you, well, no, I got that, that's six sixteenths. The other person says, well, I got three eighths. It's the same thing, right? Look at six sixteenths. You reduce that and you get three eighths. It's the same thing. So that's how you look at inches. Let's do a couple of these. How far is the arrow from the left hand end of the scale? All right. So, well, obviously it's four inches. And you look at this and you go, well, these little individual ones here are all sixteenth inches. So that's four and one sixteenth inches. That's how long it is. Oh, by the way, don't let me forget. <clears throat> I've got to tell you the absolute best secret that will get you through algebra, al one, algebra two, everything with like minimal studying, piece of cake, It'll, it'll, in fact, it even, you could even, if you do it right, you could earn millions of dollars just following this technique. It's incredible. I'll, I'll show you in a second. And my, but looks like my battery's getting low or something. Anyway, I'll try to get through this really quickly. All right. Use an inch scale to find the length of this line segment. Okay. Well, we know it's going to be two inches. We can see that it is in there between, you know, the fourths and the eighths. So this is going to indicate that it's some kind of a sixteenth. So we can go, you know, we can count all the way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight sixteenths or one half, right? And then nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's gonna be two and 13 sixteenths. Now, if you were to, let's just pretend for example, they said, how long is it to right there? You could either count with sixteenths if you wanted to, doesn't matter, and then just reduce the fraction, or you could just count and look at that and go, oh yeah, this is the eighth part. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eighths. So two and seven eighths. Now, if you were to count by sixteenths, you'd count two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. You'd go, okay, that's gonna be two and 14 sixteenths. Somebody else says, oh, I got two and seven eighths. Same thing, right? Because you just reduce 14 over 16 by two, you get seven divided by eight. Okay, hang on, I'm gonna give you that secret to getting hundreds in all your algebra stuff without studying or doing anything at all. It's awesome, hold on there. Okay, let's go to metric scale. How far is this one? Now, you, you can see usually on rulers, on rulers on the other side, if you flip the inch scale on a ruler, it has a centimeter scale. Um, there are 2.54 centimeters to one inch. That's the basic uh, conversion. Don't worry about that right now. We'll talk more about that later. But if you look at a centimeter uh, ruler, you can look at this and go, okay, well, a centimeter, uh, each one of those, of course, the metric system, um, you know, that's a, has a long story to it, but I'm not sure if we've talked about it or not, but the metric system basically started uh, during the French Revolution. They tried to do everything in tens. One of the reasons is they, they wanted to get rid of like the seven day week, like they wanted to get rid of people in people's minds. God created the world in six days and rested on the seventh day. So they tried to make this 10 day work week and it flopped mightily. People could not get used to it and they had to ditch it. But anyway, um, the metric scale is uh, used, it's tens. So you probably know the teeny ones are millimeters here. 
There are 10 millimeters that give you one centimeter, and 100 centimeters gives you one meter, and 1,000 meters gives you a kilometer or a kilometer or whatever. Okay, so these are centimeters, so you're going to go, okay, that's four, and then what we do is we use decimals in this. We don't usually use tenths. But that is, you can count, you know, five tenths, seven, six and seven tenths. So that's 4.7 centimeters is what you would say for the length of that line or that scale. So, okay. There's a line segment. You use the metric scale to measure the length of this line segment. Well, we know it's going to be five. And these are all in tenths. You just count the tenths. One, two, three. That'll be 5.3 centipedes. Or something like that. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's take a look at uh, first six, and you can do these one at a time if you want. But um, you can do them all at once, or whatever. Just so, just pause it and try your practice problems there. Okay. Let's look at A. This one looks like it's one of the sixteenths. So let's just count that. In fact, you could probably go. Well, this is a half an inch right here. Half an inch is eight sixteenths. So it's just one fewer than eight sixteenths. That would be seven sixteenths. But if you wanted to count you get the same thing. Okay, B, it is right there on one of the eighths. But again, you could count 16th if you wanted to, easier to, count to me to count eighths. So let's just do that. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eighths is what that is. Okay, C is right there on the quarter. So that's gonna be one and, and again, this is crazy. You could, you, you could go, well, I know that's one and one fourths. Let's just say you're still kind of getting used to this. You could count this by, uh, you know, uh, eighths if you wanted to, you could go, one eighth, two eighths. You could say, oh, one and two eighths. But of course, if you were to reduce that, that would be one and a fourth, right? You could also do sixteenths, right? You could, there's one inch plus sixteenths. One, two, three, four sixteenths. Well, that's the same thing as one fourth, right? Just reduce it. Okay. All right. That trick is coming up really soon. I'm, uh oh, my battery. Hope that could last here. Okay. The D is obviously one half. And you could count it again as one, two, three, four eighths. Or you could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sixteenths. One same thing as one half. Okay. E is going to be two, and this is on the eighth uh, indicator here. So that have one, two, three. So that's two and three eighths. F is right there on one of those sixteenths. So you can't really break that up. But what you can do is you can go. Okay. Well, that's two and a half right there. That's two and eight sixteenths. So just one more would be two and nine sixteenths. Okay. All right. Okay, let's take a look at your uh, the four on your centimeter one, and you can pause it if you want to and get those and then come back. Okay, well, uh, let's take a look. So G will be, that's gonna be 0. 0.6 centimeters. H will be one point, that's gonna be half, so 1.5, that'll be 1.6 as well. Okay, I, that's gonna be two centimeters, uh, 2.5, 6, 7, 8, so that's 2.8 centimeters. And then J will be four centimeters. Then we have half, so that's 4.5, 4.6, 4.7 centimeters, and there you go. Okay, here it is. This is the secret. You will never have to study math as long as you live. You do this, do this one neat trick, and you'll never have to study or learn anything about math. It'll just come to you as soon as you read it the first time. Okay, first is thing you wanna, oh no, my battery. First thing, okay, let's back here. This, this is it, one second, right? This is the trick right here to do your math. Ready? All right, you'll get hundreds without even trying as long as you live. All you have to do is just